Hi, I'm Dr. Aliber Lozano, Avid Center Vice President. How many of you like me were excited to blur your background or change it to one of your favorite life moments? Something so small like that can really tell a lot about you. There's still so much to learn about using technology as a tool for fun, for work, and just being ourselves in these various environments. As we experienced, the internet has been our lifeline that has saved us from isolation. The pandemic has accelerated our engagement with technology, bringing us closer together. It has made us feel connected. Or has it? How are our students and families experiencing these new virtual and digital environments? How do we leverage technology for today's teaching and learning opportunities? For AVID, digital citizenship is connected to our mission as a skill ensuring that all of our students are ready to be successful in college, career, and life. Most students are digital natives, meaning they have not experienced a world without technology. But what does it mean to be a responsible digital citizen? The first step is to build awareness and understanding around digital citizenship. One of the most respected authorities in this arena Common Sense Education defines digital citizenship as a way of thinking, being, and acting responsibly online. Just recently, my niece asked me, Theo, why didn't you like my video I posted this past weekend? Mija, I said, I love you and love what you do. It's so authentically you and very uniquely you. The content wasn't necessarily me. It's the few areas where you and I differ, and my liking it would not reflect a message that is necessarily me. Wow, that's deep, she said, but I can deal. Let's explore this concept of thinking, being, and acting in an online environment. On thinking, thinking critically is being able to analyze, interpret, reflect, and evaluate facts to solve problems and make decisions. With apps like Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, critical thinking skills such as analysis come into play when deciding who to follow or whether a site is generated by a bot or by an actual person or organization that you respect. Notifications of news headlines from various apps or new postings on Facebook and Twitter can be overwhelming. How do we help our students discern from misinformation, and recognize the differences in truth, fiction, and satire. On being, it also means making responsible decisions on what to post because it reflects who you are and essentially what one values. Are students being true to their own values or are they creating a false persona? being true to themselves and reminding students that what they post lives on forever and affects others in unattended ways. We've all known the social emotional effects on ourselves and especially on students who at times look to social media for validation. Are students having fun, having great discourse and being respectful digital citizens? Are they aware that they are leaving a digital footprint unique to them? On acting. For most of us, news came to us through a couple of channels on television and the local newspaper. We were consumers of news and information. But now, everyone is not only a consumer, but can also be a producer of information and news. And we can post live feed of events as they occur. We all have a device and we all have social media accounts. Pausing to reflect and learn how students engage with social media is a crucial practice of good digital citizenship, especially as they learn how to navigate in both their physical and digital worlds. As educators, it is vital that we provide students with a safe learning environment 
to discern and experience positive digital citizenship practices, like the Digital Citizen 9 elements, which include, but are not limited to, digital etiquette, ethics, and law, and digital security and privacy. And while we are all learning together, and we may not have all the answers yet, we must always lead with inquiry. When we model these strategies, thinking, being, and acting responsibly online and practice them often, we show our students how to set their norms around digital citizenship, using technology responsibly, respectfully, and taking ownership for their actions. I've got one more question for you. You may use it on yourselves and your colleagues or with your students. Look at your device and the 10 most recent posts you've developed and posted, or that you've reshared, and even those you've added in emoticon. When you apply the practices of thinking, being, and acting, is that the digital footprint you want to leave behind? <laughs>